We got some new features and improvements with the 5.43 update to DJ Pro. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the new features and improvements on the iPad. Number one is going to have to do with your waveform. So DJ Pro has amazing waveforms that are very customizable, but now we get another option. So if you press these hidden drop down menus, these little arrows next to the one and the two, we'll be able to open up our waveform settings. So down here, this is new. This is a new toggle switch, which says Nero Mix Tracks. So if you look at it now, it's just our regular waveforms. But if you select this, now you could instantly make it instrumental or instantly make it acapella right here with your waveforms. Before, you could only do that if you had your Nero Mix Tracks selected. But now you could do it with your regular waveforms, which is super cool. Another way to always be able to access Nero Mix. Just like that, we have another way to control Neuromix. I'm really happy about that. And of course, you can select your Neuromix tracks if you like to see them. But for me, I usually keep it on the normal waveform. So having this extra hidden way to control Neuromix that doesn't get in the way of anything else is really awesome. The next thing that they changed is going to be in, in four deck mode. 4-deck mode is great. It's amazing that we get to use it with this software, but it was a little bit cluttered and hard to use. So now they updated the layout. This is what it looks like now. We have our key lock up here. We have our sync up there. If we turn off our mixer section, this is what it's gonna look like. You always have a loop. You could change your loops. You have your sync, and then you have your BPM that you could adjust there, play and cue. But now if we go to our mixer section, we have all of our features down here. They were able to make it so much easier to use. And I really like this new update. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is uh, for the iPad specifically has to do with mapping controllers. The new thing that you can control with your controller is going to be your view mode. So DJ Pro was able to fit so many amazing features by having these different view modes, Pro, Classic, Looper, Sampler, uh, to uh, four deck mode. But now if you have a controller connected, I connected my controller here. Now, if you go to the middle button, select our controller. Now we have a new way of mapping it. So for this example, I'm just gonna use a random button. I'm gonna do this button number five on this side, press it. And then once you press, you can map the button. So now what I'm gonna do is go to target and I'm gonna save you some time now because this took me a little bit to figure out. So instead of target being deck two, we're gonna scroll down and you might not even know it exists because you probably never scroll down that far. There's general right here. I had to press all of these and go through one by one. Now we're in general. So then general, the action. And again, you're gonna have to scroll all the way down. I thought it would be here in view, but it's down here in view modes. So we have a couple of things. We, we could do next view mode, previous view mode. So that's just gonna cycle through the view modes, or we could do individual ones. So that's if you have a lot of buttons on your controller. This one is pretty limited. So now I am going to make this just be next view mode. Next view mode, save, done. So now I am in two deck mode. Uh, well, now I'm in pro mode. And then if I go over here, press five, so we're cycling. We were in looper, four deck mode, video mode, classic mode, back to four deck. So it cycles through four deck, Looper, video, classic. It's not going to cycle to uh, starter mode and it's not gonna cycle to auto, auto mix. These are just the modes that you use mostly when you're DJing. And a bonus feature that was added, but unfortunately it wasn't added on the iPad, but you can finally use Spotify again with DJ Pro for the Mac. And I'm gonna make a separate video about that. But if you wanna see how to map controllers, check out this video over here.